Folks, welcome back. This is big. Everybody seems to be making money. It looks like anything you touch turns to gold lately. And as we know, it's the weekend and we know crypto never sleeps. We see Nvidia running up. We see Apple run. Ooh, do we see it running up? We see Meta. What's going on with that? And Tesla. Now we got Ethereum, Bitcoin, Doge all joining the race. I'm here to look at all of these and see is there more money to be made? Now, before we dig into it, folks, today's the last day. If you have not done it, Code Mo expires after today. If you have not come on over and join the course, Join the course today immediately before it expires. Save yourself a ton of cash. It is the way to go. Lifetime access to the course. Lifetime access to the course Discord. It is fantastic. And moving forward, this is separate from all that. Starting on Tuesday, the Stockmo Patreon will be having the new teaching class for trading. Folks, this is over at the Discord, so you got to be the achiever level or higher and I'm excited about this. If you like my live streams, they will be on there moving forward. And that's where you can catch those. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Now we're going to get into it. Take a look. Bitcoin live now, this second. $62,000 a piece. Are you kidding me? Wow. This thing is up there. It's rolling the last five days. $9.85% oh, $9 up. It is crushing it. The Bitcoin price prediction of hitting 100000 in the next few years, I said this last year, I said, give it about three to five years, you'll be over 100K. Looks like we're on that path. We go back a year, we are all the way down here. And I said, it will probably hit 100,000 within three to five years. And here we are at 20,000. People say, oh, it's going down to $100 a piece. Well, now we're up. How many? Oh, we're up 200%. Wow, nice gain there. 62,000. So for those who rode with me while I dollar cost averaged into this, we're making money. It's go time. So do you take profits? Do you not take profits? Well, I'm going to look at the technicals for you. We can talk about it. It's up to you. Put down below. We're going to compare this to Tesla. We're going to compare this to Apple. We're going to compare this to NVIDIA. And we're going to compare it to Doge and Ethereum. Folks, this is going to be a good video. So first things first, let's take a look. Uh, we'll look at over the last month. 45% up. You are loving life if you're heavy into crypto. I am heavy into crypto, so I'm loving life. So things are good there. 45.74. Bitcoin got the spot ETF okay. And the question becomes, with that spot ETF, is that is that it? Are we done running? Are we going to continue to run? And what happens if Ethereum gets a spot ETF? Does that actually hurt Bitcoin because now some of that Bitcoin money will move into Ethereum? My answer is yes. I think Bitcoin actually gets a little hit and Ethereum gets the love. I would want to be diversified. If I was the big money people who were buying these securities and they're like, hey, I want to make sure that we're taken care of here. I want to have a little exposure to both. If and when the Ethereum spot ETF comes around, I think Ethereum is going to be set to run above and beyond. Now, you see Bitcoin lifting all, the whole ocean's going up. All ships are going up. You know the saying. And the question becomes 45.74. How did Ethereum do over the last month? Because it was Bitcoin who got the spot ETF okay, not Ethereum. So we look and we say over the last week, it's up 6.7. Bitcoin up what? Nine. So Bitcoin's beating it, as it probably should until Ethereum gets uh, an okay on the spot ETF. How about the last month, though? Whoa, hold on here. Hold on. You're telling me that Bitcoin's up 45%, but Ethereum's up 50%? But it was Bitcoin that got the spot ETF okay, not Ethereum. Ah, yes. Pay attention to where the money is rolling, folks, and you'll have an idea of where they think the best investments are. Bitcoin's solid, solid. It's got a great base now. Everybody's loading in. The spot ETFs are going to actually hold the crypto. So that's really helping the support of, of Bitcoin forever. Like that spot ETF going to absolutely help make a higher base for that. Nice support. Ethereum could do the same. At the end of May, we know we get a decision at the, that last week of May. We'll find out how it goes. If it doesn't happen, I figure in the next year, we are all but certain to have an ETF for the spot ETF for Ethereum. So it's how patient are you going to be? Now, let's see how Doge has done. Uh, over the last week, or last week, holy cow, 57% up in a week. Take a look at this. 100% up. 
basically 95% up, beating Ethereum, beating Bitcoin. What's up with this? Why is all the money rolling into Doge? That's because we know the high on Doge was in the 60 cents. Where were we at these different levels of bases? Well, you can see we were up in the 30s and in the mid 20s. So the idea that we're only at 15, we should be able to get up to the, fit, the, the mid 20s and 30s again. Maybe a peak on a, a FOMO up to the 60s again, if not higher. So yeah, they see a 400% possible return here, but that's crazy. But look at the last month. So for those who are looking for the high risk plays, they who jumped into these are making bank. Now we move into NVIDIA. Last week, 3%. Last month, 18%. So we know that NVIDIA is a solid play. But for those looking for the extreme risk, they've been rewarded with the cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Doge. 40, 50, and 90 something percent up compared to NVIDIA. Now there's others out there saying, what about Meta? The, you know, we got all this good stuff. The metaverse, all these things going on. One day, good. Hey, week, that's eh, all right. One month, no, 9%? Yeah, when everybody's making 40, 50, 90%, and you only get 9% with a stock in a month, what you should be happy. 9% is huge. The average return in the market is 10, a little over 10% for a year. And this is one month. And then we move to Tesla. How's Tesla doing? Five days, 5% last month, 11% outperforming Meta. And how did NVIDIA do? 18, so a little under that one. And then finally, Apple. Uh, what do we get? Oh, what? What's going on? Down 4%. Yeah, that's the one I called. We had puts on. It did exactly what I thought it would do. And that was go backwards. Uh, and so you can see what's going on here compared to the price of the cryptos. It's been wild. But what about the fundamentals, Mo? Well, it's, or the uh, technicals, Mo. Let's take a look at the technicals. So this is Bitcoin. And so when we come over and look at Bitcoin, the problem I have, and I want to explain this to you, is we're in the way overbought zone. And you can see it's 76 all the way back on February 11th, right here, 48,000. But we've been in the overbought zone forever. We've been over here in the 70s. We actually came up, came down a little bit, back into the 50s, all the way up now. And we are going sideways, basically. Uh, and you can see this pressure came down a little bit but it is still at 80.78 right now. So the pressure is high, but you have this real nice looking flag here where uh, if you guys watch me day trade, this thing has worked out many a time where you can cons consolidate for about three to four candles, sometimes five to six, then you get the next leg up. Not every time, of course, sometimes we do retrace down, and I wouldn't be surprised because if we say, okay, where was the, the pop? Well, we popped up to here. Retracement, normal retracement could take us back down to 57 to 55,000 right here. And then the next leg up. That would be what we would expect in a normal pullback from profit taking. Was that going to happen? I don't know. What about Ethereum? What's the Ethereum price prediction? Well, same, very similar thing. You could say, well, what happens if this was the base? Well, we come up, if we had a pullback, I would expect Ethereum to go back to 3,200 or 3,150. Now, are we going to get into that zone? I don't know. We're still trading. Just like I said here, we are in the 2000s here, the 2,700. Now we're all the way up to 3,400, and it's still drifting up. The RSI around 82, very high. Not a little high, very high. There's so many warning signs here. I'm loaded to the gills with this. Am I concerned? Well, I think the support's there. We'll see how it goes. And I want to tell you something. People always look at these. When, when's the best time to buy? The best time to buy was when we were buying at 890, a 900, a 1, thousand, 1100. And now it's all the way up to 3,400. When's the best time to buy? Well, you continue to come up with a strategy. I have the dollar cost averaging. It's doing well. Don't get me wrong. We're making money. But uh, I continue. I'm going to buy again tomorrow. Every Monday I buy. It's been doing very, very well. Now, with that being said, if it continues to pop, to run, to get hot, to go 4,000, 5,000, even 6,000, I'm ready, man. I'll be smiling. I'll be smiling. There's a lot of things going on, but I wanted to show you this. Did you like this? Do you own any crypto? Do you have some that you think's going to run? Man, it is wild out there. Now, for those that haven't done it, join the Stock Squad. I'll be doing a live stream there 
uh, Wednesday afternoon, just for the Stock Squad, if you want to follow that one. You got mine on Tuesdays and Thursdays over at the Stock Mo Patreon. And like I said, code Mo, M-O-E, if you want to save, it's the last day you can use that code. Use that, and then get your free stocks from Moo Moo right now. Down below, if you put $100 in, you get five free stocks worth up to $2,000 a piece. Put $1,000 in, you get 15, 8.1% APY. That's risk-free, family. 5.1% plus an extra 3% for three months. Now, that's how it's done. And on top of that, they do have, what do we got here? We got this. You guys see what I have here, which is the charting software. I use this all the time. I have the EMA set up, the Bollinger Band set up, the RSI set up. You can set all this up in Moomoo today. Take advantage of it. Use the link down below. And that is what I'm talking about. It's good stuff. All right, family. Crypto continues to pump, and that's what we needed to see. Let me know. Do you think these are the best cryptos to buy now? Ethereum, Bitcoin, or do you have another one? Put it down below and let me know. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.